guys hope you're all doing well and this video will be going to be a little different so in this video i will be going to share my real experience of uh, getting interviewed at google so google had uh, successfully been uh, shortlisted my profile back in 2022 so it's not a latest part so i actually wanted to share my experience like how i interviewed at google what are some certain steps which i followed so first of all i created my uh, resume in a very detailed format then i applied on google careers so google careers have their uh, respected separate portion of uh, web application or website i must say uh, through where you can go and you can maintain your profile you can create your add your certain experiences what you have previously worked on so this is how actually i did so after applying at various positions at google so related to the front end technologies because i'm a front end nerd and i'm working on a front end technologies for past 9 plus years till now so i thought to apply so uh, like in back in 2022 my profile was got shortlisted and i got a successful email for the first interview in white in that first interview in white uh, basically hr joined and we had a basic discussion about my experiences my core specializations technologies and etc so then uh, that was actually a pretty simple format and after that for the second interview in white i was being shortlisted and i got a email from google recruiter to set up a uh, google meeting in white so i actually set it up as per my convenient timings and after that i got interviewed by one of the lead software engineers uh, who was working on a youtube platform he introduced me i don't remember uh, his name and i obviously i don't want to share that name here but like as i shared in the previous snippet like for the interview in white email and etc so in that in that uh, interview so interviewer joined and we had a basic discussion about my technologies and tech stack like i'm currently working on so these type of things so then later on he started a discussion uh, like little discussion about the core concepts of javascript because i have applied on front end part once i uh, had a discussion with him then we had a second round of that uh, same interview where uh, interviewer had shared the problem statement and that was related to the algorithms so i actually wanted to share my experience how it went so before moving to that so the curious part like how my profile got shortlisted so i actually uh, had a very detailed linkedin step by step i have shared everything like what certain technologies i have worked what are the projects and those projects are associated with which companies and in every project what exact tech, tech stack i am actually been currently working on or i have worked so this is what actually by creating a detailed profile uh, give a headshot and that headshot actually been uh, lead toward a successful uh, google interview invite obviously uh, like uh, like i will share my experience like how it went and what exact uh, problem or what exact uh, solution i actually uh, shared with them obviously uh, like so at that certain time actually i was not good in that much of uh, uh, algorithms part like to be like on linked list breadth first search depth first search there are other algorithms as well for uh, traversing your graphs and like those kind of node node structured matrices so i will share with that uh, i will share that with you guys also like to be on a hands on like which type of questions normally google interview have so after creating that very detailed resume obviously i was doing uh, community collaborations i actually have multiple articles on angular and front end on website development and uh, other stuffs so that was actually a catch from uh, their side obviously like when you are doing uh, something so like what you do do with your proper uh, love and proper uh, experiments and proper enablements so this is what i normally do so whenever i start a new project in any of the company i actually want 
I actually uh, don't share much information about it but to be very honest I share the name and like kind of uh, what exact technologies we are using into that to so that other recruiters and other uh, fang companies so those are actually being got your interest so normally recruiters when they type uh, certain keywords on LinkedIn like assuming if they are hiring for a front-end expert in an angular from some specific location so LinkedIn algorithm of search has been designed in a way like they properly worked on specific keywords so normally recruiter go in uh, on their LinkedIn profile they can search out angular space front end space location from like remote or whatever when they hit up so there are a lot of profile who have angular in their keywords on linkedin profiles but normally a big tip is that when you use multiple uh, like assume that on my profile if you can go and you can check it out the link i am actually been uh, passing out below so when you go into that profile profile you can see like angular i have shared on multiple projects multiple like uh, uh, extras and in the bios and everything because very much uh, like what i can say it's kind of a huge uh, share of that exact uh, hashtag of angular and skill of angular because normally uh, i worked angular uh, react and those front end technologies very much so this is how they got that like linkedin algorithm can calculate that the highest highest hashtags being used on a profile so they can actually share with you so obviously it's not related to work only for community collaborations for doing talks and etc etc so now moving back towards like what exact problem uh, which uh, interviewer had asked from me so that was actually a classroom metrics and that was actually interviewer had shared that that metrics should have to be n by n that means like whatever the number from whatever the number like this case if you can see so this metrics is like complex very complex and like you can see like three uh, four rows and three columns so that means like four uh, three into four right so three or four rows and three columns that means four into three metrics it is so these type of uh, actually answer the, the this type of question interviewer had asked and uh, asked me to write a function or an algorithm which can calculate the uh, optimum way to reach to a specific student so consider this matrix as an examination hall so where students are seated uh, by emptying the center of uh, row like if if you can see column one so from column one uh, one row uh, like from column one and uh, zero index so three seats are there so one student had seated on a very first then in between it's empty then after that a student again seated so that's how the spacing mechanism works in this matrix is shared by the interviewer so solving that problem so like finding the optimum way to reach to a specific student because examiner is being available in that examination hall to make sure like students are not doing the cheating so that's what actually the problem statement provided by the uh, interviewer and interviewer also provided a uh, hint or like kind of what I can say the input parameters and those input parameters are obviously on the level of like the graph size like n by n and after that like the starting position and starting position on x axis is starting position on y axis that mean a certain point because when we talk about point so that point is representing the uh, representing two axes x axis and y axis so that how it calculates the uh, position of a certain seat so that was actually the starting x and starting y then also the target x and target y so what does target mean target means like till then or till where we want to go right so assume that examiner is being available on a starting x of zero and a starting y of zero and examiner want to reach towards three comma zero that means like a starting of three and y axis of zero so that's how uh, this mechanism of input parameters interviewer has shared with me so i wanted to 
share like what exact uh, what i can say what exact problem uh, solution that this, this should have to be solved because i have applied for the javascript role so i have solved uh, that in a very like not this much better way so this is what actually i solved after the interview end because i didn't solve this type of uh, bfs and dfs level of algorithm so making this video the purpose of making this video is to like provide the awareness like what type of uh, questions uh, normally asked at fang companies so i actually got a successful part to be invited on a second round of google interview and obviously after that uh, it was a denial from google side because i didn't performed well in that second round so if you can check it out like uh, how that problem statement should have to be solved in a good way so obviously like in that part uh, bfs should perform in a good direction like breadth first stretch is an algorithm for a graph level so minimum step to a student should have to be a function which need to be called and as i shared the input parameters was grid that grid is actually been uh, showing you the n by n like the matrix or graph uh, uh, graph uh, scale and after that starting x and starting y this is for the starting position of an examiner who want to reach at a target student so that's also representing x and y for that point so like here we have created a new constant variable uh, like named as n that mean a number or the length length of a whole grid like n by n what should have to be the length right and after that we have a directions part and in that direction we have up down left and right so that because when you have a when examiner have a starting point so he want to navigate toward any of the part like other left right uh, up and down so these are actually the directions part we have initialized so and also in bfs we have two type of things like one is the queue and one is the node so in bfs what it what it does normally is like it start from top then it actually went towards the depth right and before going into the depth actually want to on a horizontal part of uh, checking the nodes right so also when it, it it actually maintain queue when you are actually going below and going down or left and right so it maintain the queue so that maintaining of queue is what actually when examiner suppose examiner had changed the position from uh, zero zero towards one zero or like going up and down whatever the direction should be so it maintained that position in queue and when next step will be taken so from the queue previous first uh, previous first step will be going to uh, like mentioned as a visited node so this is how breadth first search works so here you can see like same way we have created a queue and in that queue we have defined three things and those three things are covering as an index so on zero index we have an array which is maintaining a starting position of x point and y point and this zero is representing the number of steps it took for that position so after that we have a visited uh, visited variable and we have created as a set for making that thing to be uh, like we have to perform some kind of uh, like uh, making sure we are not actually been using iteration more so set has multiple extra parameter to check like has and like uh, you also we also can create new set uh, for avoiding the duplication of keys and those stuff so we are actually been using set for an optimal uh, optimal solution so in that set so after that like we are making like visited we are actually creating a new set entry for the first index on which examiner is uh, located right so now bfs loop is starting from here while q dot length so we have a q and q had a length of uh, like zero right so then after it is started running and obviously it will be an infinite so it will be making sure like these q dot shift so this is what actually the normal behavior of bfs it meant in q and when you are moving ahead so previously entry uh, the previous entry of your q will be going to uh, like unshift or shift from uh, that so like assume that we have uh, we have in, in in a q we have one two three four so when we are moving towards next step so we are removing the one entry the first entry from our 
uh, queue so that means like now one two three four will be going uh, to be as a part so then that one which we are removing so that we are not removing basically we are marking it as visited so and we have also a if condition next so that is actually for when a position or when an examiner who actually reached toward a target point so then it will be going to return these steps so now uh, also the bfs conclude of like to visit out to visit the neighbors so we have a directions array which we have created earlier above here up down left and right so now for every certain point when examiner moves so it will be going to explore the neighbors so exploring the neighbors means to check it out like what nodes we have in a visited part or if not we need to push it into a queue or mark it as visited if it's not so then consider if, if it's not then you need to add it into a visited and like queue should have to be dot push because for every next step we are following these three things one is to maintain the queue on the second part marking it as visited and the third part is like removing that and marking it to visited then whatever the next part is coming so it will be going to push into the queue so this is how it actually uh, do and I in the end like we have certain we have a if check here so that is actually been checking each and every point like either examiner had reached towards a specific student so if it's not then at the end we have a return minus one that is reflecting that target is not reachable so like this is actually the sample grid we have and for grid actually we have this type of like uh, what I can say four by four if I can say so four by four is like four rows and four columns so we are actually maintaining uh, this one and apart from that we have also initialized you can see starting position X and starting Y that means zero zero is the starting point of examiner where it's where he is located and target is three comma zero so that means like X X is three and y x is zero so that's actually the start uh, that's actually the target point so we are now calling the same function we have created above and we are passing the grid starting and target so then it will be going to perform so now you can see here i have uh, added console.logs on certain steps to make sure the uh, to make sure the history of examiner to be visiting like in an optimal way so that's how and steps uh, steps these are the steps and minimum steps these two should be same because uh, these are actually the minimum steps which examiner had taken to reach to a certain target point so here you can see these are like x axis y axis and step 0 0 0 that's the starting point then x y and step should be 1 0 1 after exploring at like the same how so on and so forth so examiner actually reached towards a certain destination so making this video is not only for uh, like to show like how BFS works and like how you you can do it but the problem uh, the uh, the main essence of this video is to like to share the insights like which type of questions normally fang companies ask in their interviews normally they also talked about like and also like once i was solving this one so examiner were also examiner also shared uh ex interviewer also shared that we need to make sure the complexity will not go higher because normally using loops inside loops that's actually been uh, calculating complexity in a very high direction so for making that sure you need to use the hash map uh, kind of uh, data structure as well while solving your problems so that's how the experience of this google interview went and hope to see you successfully so i will recommend you to make your profile in a more deeper way so that you can also be invited by these type of fang companies so obviously like they are doing firing obviously like the layoffs are happening uh, there as well but that's how my uh, insights and my experience which i faced while uh, interviewed interviewed at google and it was like back in 2022 when covid after like two years after the covid hits and everything was remote so that was actually my insights and experience on interviewed at google so it's not about getting your bars high and like I, I was not said about like why I wasn't hired in Google but the successful part and happy part was that like throughout the globe like I was the one who is being shortlisted for this front end round as well so that was actually the victory for me and 
Stay tuned for next videos and tech blogs. So, see you in the next video.